I'm Milk Jug, I'm on the PCT, and I'm from northern suburbs of Illinois, Buffalo Grove. And you just graduated from high school. Just graduated from high school. And uh, and you were trying to do the pancake challenge. I, I I did my best. I've heard through hiking actually like reduces the physical size of your stomach. I don't know if that's true, but okay. So you decided to do the PCT when you graduated from high school. I was hearing about some dumb gap year program that I didn't want to do, but like the idea of oh I could actually like take a gap year and I could actually like. Like the PCT just kind of came together. Your parents, what do they think of this uh, adventure of yours? My mom has some of those stereotypical, all oh, gonna get mauled by a bear thing. And like, also she's like really into like true crime shows. She's, so she's, <laughs> oh, no. she, she like made me promise not to hitchhike even though I know I have to and I have been. Uh, but We won't tell her. I, yeah, I'm just not. <laughs> there is some inherent danger out here. You said you started on June 20th, which is it, from Hearts Pass, which is actually yeah. pretty early for Washington. So you yeah. had snow So I started rain. as a true South Founder. I didn't flip at all. Right. So um, I started June 20th, which was a little early. I had an ice axe at the time, but no micro spikes. It had been like a really big heat wave right before, so most of the snow had melted except oh, wow. for some big patches. And then like a couple days before I started, the weather just like turned. And it was all snow and sleep for days. And then the day I got there, it was like a mix of the excitement of I'm finally here, like I've been planning this for like a year. Yeah. And that, but also like, oh, the weather sucks. It had been snowing all, and sleeting all day. And like, there were like some kind of cliffy things, but like, if you fell off them, it wasn't a big deal. You just kind of got wet. And then it was like, rock pass, which is just these 70 or 80 degree, like, scree cliffs. And this like, really narrow, like, 12 inch path, like, going along it. Uh, it will, like went to the side and then switch back up. And, and that was in snow, wasn't it? Yeah, and there was snow. So there you were could not fall. Yeah, like there were these big snow drifts. So like some of them would go down like a couple hundred feet, and you would, you'd be like, um, and you'd be crossing it, and you'd be like, oh, I have, um, like I have time to stop myself if I fell in here. It would it would really suck, but like I probably wouldn't die. And then there were other ones where it's like. 20 feet of snow around the trail there's no way to go around it the footprint it's so steep that you can't get like full like normal footprints in it so you have like little like cuts in the side from like where you're kicking in steps like with the side of your foot so you're like trying to balance on these there's this one area that you kind of have to go at a weird angle down on your knee and then like <laughs> I had been hiking, I hiked faster than the people that were hiking with me, but the other people there were more, had more mountaineering experience, because this is like my second day on a mountain ever. Um, <laughs> so like, I got ahead of them from this snow crossing, so they hadn't kicked in better steps yet. So I'm doing what was already there. And I get to the, that one really difficult part I just mentioned. And then, I would say like the quarter or half of a second going from being vertical to being horizontal was just like pure terror. And then like like this weird kind of like life or death calm like sets into you and you just do what you have to. Wow. <laughs> Well, it's really great to talk to you about Jug, and I wish you the best. I think we're going the same direction, so we'll probably catch up. Yeah, thanks.